Hello guys and welcome back to Sugar and Spice with Lakshmi. In today's video, let's check out the recipe for a chicken shawarma made all from scratch at home. And this is one of my favorite recipes to indulge in. Now for marinating the chicken, we add the chicken breast cut into small pieces into a bowl and add our curd, our ginger garlic paste, lemon juice, salt and pepper, the Arabic kabsa masala, some red chilli powder turmeric powder and mix this really well. Now if you don't have any kind of Arabic chicken masala, you can add your normal chicken masala as well. We need to marinate this for at least an hour. For making our kubbus or pita bread, I am taking half a cup of lukewarm water, adding in a little bit of sugar and my yeast and giving all of this a really good mix. We have to set this aside so that the yeast can bloom. Now while that is happening, I am adding in my maida and atta. Now I have used a mixture of wheat flour and maida and just adding my salt and giving it a really good mix. Now adding in the yeast and water mixture and making a dough. You can add normal water as required to make a soft dough. Once the dough is all combined, I am adding in 1 tablespoon of oil and giving it one good mix. Now once we have the dough mixed in, we have to knead this really well. So I am taking my dough out onto the countertop and giving it a really good knead. You will see that the dough is a little sticky to begin with. So you can add a little bit of dry flour. I am using the normal maida here and just knead it in. Now that our dough is kneaded well, I am tucking the dough in and placing it in a greased bowl so that it can rise for at least 2 hours. Now let's go ahead and make our garlic sauce. For the garlic sauce, I am adding in one raw egg into the small jar of my mixer grinder and adding in some chopped garlic, a tablespoon of fresh cream, now you can replace this with milk as well, a tablespoon of lemon juice, some salt, pepper and sugar and giving this a quick mix. Once it has been mixed lightly, you can start adding in your oil. Now I have measured out around half cup of oil. Now you can add your oil little by little and keep mixing and checking for the consistency. If you require more oil to make a thicker garlic sauce, you can add it. Once you have the desired consistency, you can take it off. Now let's prepare the vegetable coleslaw for this. Now you can add any kind of vegetables into this. Now mostly we see uh, cabbage and carrots. So I have also added some tomatoes as well. You can add cucumbers or onions or whatever you like in your coleslaw. And I've added some salt and pepper. And I'm adding in a tablespoon of mayonnaise just to give it an extra creaminess. 
and the garlic sauce that we prepared. Now give all of this a really good mix and you can keep it aside while we prepare the kobus. Now for making the kubus, you can see that our dough has risen really well. Now we can take this out and start shaping these into small portions for our kubus. I am lightly sprinkling some flour onto my surface and putting my dough onto the surface and dividing it into portions. With this quantity of dough, I got around 8 medium sized kubus. Now to spread out the kubus, I have covered the extra dough with a towel so that it doesn't dry out. And you can just flatten this out just like as you would do for a roti. Just ensure you are not making it too thin, you want it slightly thicker than your rotis. This is the kind of thickness that we are looking at. Now once we are done flattening our dough, I am placing it on a butter paper so that it is easier for us to transfer this onto the tawa for cooking the kubus. You have to cover your flattened out rotis as well with a cloth so that it doesn't dry out. Now I am taking an iron tawa which is medium hot and placing our flattened kubus. Now cook your kubus on one side until you start seeing small bubbles appear. Once we see that, we can flip our kubus and cook it on the other side. Now after about a minute on the other side, you can see that our kubus is starting to puff up from one side. Now you just want to gently press on that bubble and let it spread. Now you can see how well our kubus is puffing up. I am lightly pressing on the top so that it spreads out evenly. I am just flipping it over and, and you can see how well our kubus has puffed up. We can take this off now. Now we will do one more in the same way. So place your kubus onto your hot skillet. And let it cook for about one minute and you will see some bubbles form on the first side. Once that is done, you can flip your kubus and let it cook on the other side. You can see that the heat is on a medium high. Once it is cooked for about a minute on the other side, you can see that it is starting to puff up. You can gently press on top of your kubus and let it puff up fully. And there you have your perfectly puffed up kubus. We will cook all of the other kubus in the same manner. And now it's time for us to cook our chicken. So I'm adding a little bit of oil onto my grill pan. You can use a normal tawa or a non-stick pan as well. And I'm adding in our marinated chicken. And you have to let this cook really well on both sides. So I'm just spreading it out evenly onto my pan. Now keep mixing and cooking our chicken really well.
now once our chicken is cooked we can start breaking the chicken into really small bits and really getting this to a dry and crispy state now keep mixing and scraping the good bits from the bottom of the pan and we will be there in no time and our chicken is ready and we are ready for assembling our shawarma now i have the coleslaw the cooked chicken the garlic sauce and our kubus ready now for assembling our shawarma i am just warming our kubus on the same grill pan as we fried the chicken now i've placed the kubus and i am spreading a generous amount of the garlic sauce on top and adding in my coleslaw now all the quantities are according to your fancy some like the vegetables more some like the chicken more and some like the sauce more so on top of that goes our cooked chicken you can see that i have cooked it really dry and i am adding a little more of the garlic sauce on top and topping it off with another warm kubus now i had some pickled chilies and carrots also and there we have our shawarma is ready you can see how good the shawarma has turned out now we can serve the shawarma as a roll as we get in a restaurant as well so the same procedure the kubus and some garlic sauce some coleslaw on top and i am adding in my chicken and now we have to roll this very tightly so just start by rolling your shawarma and once you are half way there then you can start adding in your paper you don't want the paper to be inside the roll so just be careful about that and give it a tight roll and seal the ends and our shawarma roll is ready now i'll just cut this one and show you how good the inside looks you can see that it's a perfect combination i'm just adding a little extra garlic sauce and there you have your perfect chicken shawarma that's it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed that shawarma recipe and do like this video if you did and share and subscribe to my channel and do let me know what other kind of videos you would like to see on my channel down below in the comments and if you guys are not following me on instagram do follow me at sugar and spice with lakshmi i will leave the link in the description down below and i will catch you guys next time with another video here at sugar and spice with lakshmi until then take care bye bye